this is the, the place or the home where the bushmen were living. They were living here in about 20 to 30 people in a group. And these paintings are about 400 to 4,000 years old. They were found in 1955 by Jane Masin and H. Damini. These people do the living by hunting and gathering. Gathering was responsible for the females. They gather all fruits and work with the tables. And the hunting was responsible for the males. They hunt using three ways. The first way was that of using bows and arrows. With the bows and arrows, they tip a member's neck poison so that the animals can be easily killed. The poison did not kill the bushmen too because they were using the poison which works in the blood system of the animal. They used to drain the blood. Then the meat is less harmless. The second way was that of trapping. They dig a pit and cover it with grass. Then they trap the animals to water that pit. When they fall, they immediately kill them. The third way was that of camouflaging their bodies with leaves so that the animals cannot see them when they are approaching. When they are about 20 meters away from the animals, they shoot using bows and arrows. Believers, the Bushmen believe that there were two worlds, the normal world, the world we can see, and the power world, which was the spiritual world, where a shaman enters. A shaman was a trained person who enters the power world. He would go there when there were problems or when there was famine. The solutions in the power world were drawn. Then he would come back and interpret them to the others. If he do not want to interpret them, he decided to draw them on this rock. Like this, this one. This is half human and half animal. The head is for a primantis, body for a human, and wings for a bird. Also, this is a group of people going towards the power world. The Bushman decided to make this crack on the rock to show the entrance to the power world. This is the shaman showing the others how to look inside the power world. These are wilder beasts. It is rare to find wilder beasts in Bushman paintings. The closest are in, are in Zambia. Finally, the Bushmen were very, very short, and they do not want us to say that they were short. They decided to draw themselves as tall as this one. Wherever you see an elephant in Bushman paintings, it represents rainmaking. Around December and January, there is a ceremony in Eswatini, which is called the Ingora ceremony. After that, it rains. The Queen Mother is responsible for that rainmaking. That is why she is called the Elephant of Eswatini. This represents the war between the Bandu and the Bushmen. The Bushmen were defeated because they were using wood while the others were using iron. Then they were driven out from, from Eswatini to the Karari Desert in Namibia and Botswana.